Creating freeform paths or shapes in Illustrator can be kind of hard. Matter of fact, if you've ever tried to work with the pen tool, if you're great at it, that's great. Okay, but if you've ever tried to work with the pen tool, you know that there's a lot going on. You've got to be able to adjust, work with what are called direction lines or direction handles to be able to shape and reshape and change the configuration of the paths as you work on them, right? So there's a lot going on here that we need to work with as far as the tool is concerned to be able to get what we want. There is another tool in here that you can use that will create a freeform path kind of like you saw, but make it easier. If I come over here, you're going to see the Curvature tool. I'm going to click on the Curvature tool. Now, the Curvature tool makes a path, creates these anchor points and paths and all these little lines and handles to be able to edit it later on, but it does it a different way. If I come out here and click once and let go and move away, I can come over here, for instance, and click again, let's say right up here, and then move away, and you're going to see it's going to create a curve for me. That's why it's called the Curvature tool. Pretty cool. Now, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click again, and as I go, I can keep clicking and adding points. I'm going to click and add another point. Now, what's great about the curvature tool is you can always edit the path with the same tool while you're drawing. So I can come back to the existing point here, hover over it, you'll see a little circle, and start to edit it or adjust it. I'm not looking to make this perfectly symmetrical, okay? I can also come to a point, or to path rather, and if I see a plus up here, I can click to add another point and start to edit that as well. If I don't want another point, I can click on it, it'll highlight it, and hit delete. Press delete. And there we go. Now you'll notice I'm going to create another point here, so I'm going to keep going. I've got my path selected here. I just clicked on the last point to keep going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to create a little flower here. So I'm going to make another point right there. Now the problem I have down here is that this is actually a curve, right? If you want to make something corner or not have a curve to it, you can double click on the point. So I'll double click on the point and you'll see what it does. Cool. Now I'm going to keep creating my flower here. I'm going to keep going. Now you'll notice that before what I did was I clicked, I went and clicked again, and then I double clicked, and it was a lot of things here. You can create a corner point by option or alt clicking. So you'll notice that little dash show up. If I option click, I can create another point right there, and you'll notice what I can do here. I can click again and start to create a curve. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to mess this up a little bit. It's going to overlap. That's fine. I'm going to click again. So I'm going to go back and edit it. I'm going to go back and move it back. I'll move this one over a little bit. And then I can keep going. You can see I'm going to option click to create a corner. The option click thing is awesome because you can then go in and you can see I'm going to make a corner point here, or a, a curve point rather. Option click, you can option click, option click, option click, option click. And if you come back to the original point, I'm going to see a little zero. That's going to close it. That's going to let you create a whole bunch of straight lines, which is really great. So not only can we draw with this thing, but we can also edit with it as we go. Now, I want to transform this thing a little bit. I can click on a point like I showed you and kind of move them a little bit, just kind of change things up, make it look a little bit more the way I want it to. Eh, that one's not looking great. There we go. Move this one over. Kind of shifting things a little bit. There we go. These are overlapping. I'll fix that just a hair. There we go. Now I want to transform the whole thing. I can go to my selection tool, for instance. I'll go off the corner here and shift, corner, rotate, and there we go. I've got a little flower, shamrock, whatever you want to call that thing. My point is the curvature tool is something to look at because it allows you to draw freeform paths without having to work with the direction handles. Now, I can if I want to. This is the best part, I think. I can go in and edit this thing still. You'll notice that the points are there. These little anchor points are here. So if I go to the, the direct selection tool, I can click on one of these anchor points and the direction handles these are called are still here. So I can still go in and edit this anytime I want to. The great thing about this too is that I could later on go back to the curvature tool if I want, come right back in here and start editing. Double click to change that. There we go. So there it is, working with the curvature tool, one of my new favorite tools in Illustrator.